Hello friends, how are you? In our last class, we started about the polymers. We started about the polymers. This is the last topic of our chapter. Okay. So, and in that, we also discussed about one of the natural polymer that is natural rubber. So, let me quickly rewind that and proceed in our chapter. Polymers. Poly means many. Mer that means marrows that means small units. Marrows that means small units. So we can say that when the smalls, when the small and simple molecules join together, join together, they make a heavy or long chain molecule. They make heavy or long chain molecule. These long chain molecules which are formed by these heavy or long chain molecules which are formed by joining of various small units are called polymers are called polymers and the small units are called monomers are called monomers and the and the units and the uh, process of their unit unity that means uh, process of joining them and make polymer is known as polymerization got it in the last class we discussed about uh, <coughs> natural poly uh, types of polymers we started discussing about the polymers there are two type of polymers first is natural polymers and second is synthetic or artificial polymers natural polymers that means the polymers which directly obtained from nature those polymers which directly those polymers which directly obtained from nature are called are called natural polymers these are called natural polymers while the polymers which are mean made the polymers which are mean made called <coughs> sorry called artificial polymers got it here the natural polymers uh, in a, in that we have one example that in that is natural rubber it is obtained from the latex of the rubber tree it is obtained from the latex of rubber tree okay this natural rubber is the polymer of isoprene this is very important line it can ask in exam they can ask that write the name of monomer of natural rubber so the monomer is isoprene because here the written in the, here the point is natural rubber is a polymer of isoprene so isoprene is monomer unit okay and their structure formula that is also very important the examiner can ask about it also this is ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 ch when it goes polymerization when it undergoes polymerization as we discussed in our last class that how the polymerization takes place we discussed about it that how the polymerization takes place and how they join how they join and make monomer uh, this kind of structures again i am showing here this is our isoprene here the double bonds breaks and one of them shifted here in between that and one is used to make bond between the two molecules as we discussed this bond breakdown double bond one bond is breakdown and one electron shifted here and similarly one electron of this double bond shifted here so there is a formation of double bond and one electron shifted here similarly in that second molecule this double bond breaks and one electron shifted here and one electron shifted here similarly this double bond break 
and one electron shifted here so there is a double bond and one electron is shifted here Sim again one uh, the other molecule of that will join in this way similarly here the molecules will join this way so if we com compare these two if we are just only taking the example of these two then this CH2 this double bond break and single bond remains now here double bond formation again CH2 now there is a bond formation that is single bond again CH2 now this be it becomes single bond it is double bond it is single bond and this one these two units are same if we compare then these two are same so I can write two here I can write 2 here and if I am taking N then I can write N here that means these units join together and make molecule greater large molecule this one so if there is N molecule then they join together and make polyisoprene which is called natural rubber <coughs> the structure of the Isoprene, which is the monomer of natural rubber, it is also very important. Okay, and one more question that we discussed: what is vulcanization? It is also very very important. It can ask in exam. <coughs> the naturally obtained rubber, the latex, when there is acetic acid is added, then the natural rubber is uh, the natural rubber get precipitated. This natural rubber has less tensile strength has less tensile strength less elastic so to improve its tensile strength tensile strength that means how much tension how much tension it can hold got it how much tension it can hold for example that is rubber this is rubber this this is its tensile strength got it and elasticity got it elasticity that means how much is it expanded and tensile strength how much pressure it can hold got it so to improve the tensile strength and elasticity it is heated with the sulfur it is heated with sulfur this process is called vulcanization this heating is known as vulcanization got it after it the rubber becomes strong hard and more elastic got it now second are synthetic polymers as we name that these are man made or artificial polymers got it here there is three categories one is artificial fibers second is first is artificial fibers second is plastic and third is artificial rubber so synthetic polymers there is three categories one is artificial fiber second is plastic and third is artificial rubber and we have to study all of these okay now first artificial fibers that means these are fibers which are which are made by chemical reaction first is nylon 66 it is very very important it is very very important got it it is prepared by polymerization of adipic acid it is called adipic acid that means C double bond O O H in between there are four CH2 units and again C S C double bond O O H this is adipic acid got it this is adipic acid and that is hexamethylene NH2 CH2 there are six units of CH2 and again NH2 units it is called hexa methylene 
diamine hexamethylene diamine this is adipic acid this is adipic acid and this is hexamethylene diamine diamine because 2ns2 group so that is diamine hexamethylene 6 ch2 groups are is attached when ch4 methane ch3 methyl ch2 methylene and only ch methylene these are the names of carbons okay and uh, it will you will uh, understand in higher classes so we have just memorized the formula here ns2 in between 2 ns2 there is 6 ch2 units hexamethylene diamine okay and it is adipic acid the condensation of these two gives a viscous fibrous material which is called nylon 66 now let me discuss the chemical reaction of making it when adipic acid react with the hexamethylene diamine here I am writing NH2 groups in this way so that we can easily understand that which parts are reacting with each other okay here the OH group of adipic acid and H group of H of hexamethylene diamine combine and make water they combine and make water got it the elimination of these two make a bond between carbon and nitrogen like this got it this bond is formed because the OH of carbon and H of hydrogen combine and make water and get eliminated got it if there are one one then one water molecule remove, uh, removal uh, will remove but here we are taking NN and that means any number it may be thousands it may be millions trillions it depend on us okay so n molecules are if there are n molecules are taken then the n h2o will eliminate similarly it has oh in that side also okay and here h is also so similarly this h will combine with the oh of the next adipic acid and this OH will combine with the H of next hexamethylene diamine and they combine and remove as a water molecule this because of that this structure is formed if there is one one then one is formed but here there are n n so n type of these structures are repeated are repeated this is known as nylon 66 it is called nylon 66 what it this reaction making of the nylon 66 is very very important for exam what it clear yeah. why it is called nylon 66 because it was firstly sold in new york and london so from there it got, got the name nylon and the monomer units adipic acid also consists six carbon and hexamethylene diamine is also consists six carbon so its units monomer units consist six six carbons therefore it is called nylon six six got it now where it is used it is used in making gearbox bearings for the machines gearbox bearing of the machines uses in making tires fiber rope brushes clothes etc got it so there is the use of nylon 66 clear next one is terylene or decron one thing let me clear you in some books you will find the spelling this also e instead of y both are correct okay but in a higher classes this will be used terly okay now what is this it is also a polymer synthetic fiber which is prepared by condensation polymerization here i am using condensation polymerization in the upper portion also here we also use this word here we also using this word 
Now the what is the condensation polymerization? Polymerization that means joining of two small units. Condensation polymerization that means in this process, small molecules like water, HCl, ammonia, eliminated, eliminated, got it? That kind of polymerization in which small units eliminates is known as condensation polymerization. So here again water molecule eliminate here the again water molecule eliminated so that these are examples of condensation polymerization. Got it? Now it is prepared by condensation polymerization of ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid. This is terephthalic Terephthalic acid. This terephthalic acid that means that is a benzene ring. There is a benzene ring and C double bond O O H C double bond O O H that C O H that is called carboxylic. So these two carboxylic acids ends are here. That is terephthalic acid. Second is ethylene glycol. Second one is ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol, if we consider the ethylene glycol, then this CH2 single bond CH2 and 2 OH is attached. This is ethylene glycol here. Got it? So that is terephthalic acid and that is ethylene glycol. When they combine with each other, they combine with each other or we can say that when they undergoes polymerization reaction, then the OH of acid and H of ethylene glycol combine and make water molecule. Similarly, the H will combine with the OH of next terephthalic acid and OH of the terephthalic acid will combine with the hydrogen of next ethylene glycol. That means these units are again repeated and this structure is formed. Here one one then one but here we are taking NN. We are taking NN molecules. NN molecules. So the N molecules will join together and this structure will repeat. This molecular structure repetition gives a polymer which is called terylene or dacron it is called terylene or dacron got it now uses of terylene use in making clothes soil cell pot belts magnetic tapes etc magnetic tape that means in the old time that uh, tape recorder tape if you have uh, usually ever seen that there was a tape and there are two holes in which we play in machines the black colored okay so that is magnetic tape third one is rayon it is the first synthetic fiber or polymer there is a history between that it is also called artificial silk the development of rayon is slightly little bit more interesting as you know that uh, the silk formation there is a control of China in the from the ancient time the silk and its method of preparation its total marketing was under control the China then Japan and we also contribute in that so there is a very little De uh, very little supply in the market so a synthetic material was prepared which was similar with this and that synthetic material was rayon so it was prepared as a alternate of natural silk okay got it so that was the history of it it was first synthetic fiber or polymer but um, as per me 
it is not synthetic fiber it is semi synthetic polymer or fiber why i am using this word because its raw material is natural complete natural it is prepared by the process on cellulose process on cellulose which is a natural substance got it so it was first synthetic fiber or polymer it is prepared by cellulose for that the cellulose is firstly washed with nawh sodium hydroxide which make it soft which make it soft and uh, remove its hardness now it is dissolved in carbon disulfide cs2 solution dissolve in carbon disulfide that is cs2 solution now this cs2 solution this viscous cs2 solution pass through the fine pores and collect in the sulfuric acid and you can consider like in our local sides we make snacks which is called bujia <laughs> i think you know that in which we put some gram uh, gram flour that is besan from the pores that is chalni directly into the oil and it be convert into the snacks like that so leave leave, leave that and similarly that is so it is collected it is uh, you can suppose that these that is there is a fine pores and from this when it is passed out and directly collected into sulfuric acid then it gave a fine shiny fibers of the rayon okay used in making clothes threads carpets etc artificial silk so it is making clothes okay now the second category is plastic what is a plastic plastic is a polymer which can be molded into different shapes this is the simplest definition and it can be asked what is plastic plastic is a polymer which can be molded into different shapes mold that means can be change can be at the time of at the time of the formation or after the formation but after the formation is possible on some of the plastics in the class 8 you understand you read out the thermo setting and thermo plus thermophobic plastics so there is a difference but the plastic which can be molded into as uh, the polymer which can be molded into different shapes there is a three dimensional network of monomers molded into three uh, molded into different shapes is known as plastic polythene pvc and various other are comes in this category got it now first let's understand about the polythene poly poly that means many thin that is a thin so here various the various uh, athin units combine polymerize and give a law a, a give a polymer which is called polythene it is prepared by the polymerization of athin molecule at high temperature and pressure that is athin molecule and after when the polymerization this double bond breaks and may it use to make the single bonds between the other units so it is result there is a formation of a polymer which is called polythene which is called polythene got it uses it is important reaction it can ask <coughs> because that it is very very important we will discuss about that it is flexible and strong plastic which is used in making the carry bags pipe tubes that is plastic tubes bottles etc okay now second is polyvinyl chloride pvc it is very 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 important for our exam it is most frequent question most common question that is write the polymerization reaction of pvc yeah what is pvc okay it is formed by polymerization of vinyl chloride it is ch2 double bond ch2 CH2 double bond CH2 that is ethene and now if one hydrogen is removed and group is attached here then it is called vinyl 
it is called vinyl when there is a chloride is attached vinyl chloride when cyanide is attached vinyl cyanide okay if benzene is attached then vinyl benzene so depend on this ch2 double bond ch and one group is attached here that is called vinyl now vinyl chloride when undergoes the polymerization similarly this double bond break and use in the making of the single bonds with the other molecules of that one result this polymer is formed which is called poly vinyl chloride that is pvc it is called poly vinyl chloride or pvc got it now uses use in making shoes slippers bags toys pipes records of phonogram electrical insulators layers etc got it all of that are formed by pvc like this that is pvc pvc okay the soles of our shoes that is pvc the plastic pipes which we use for supply and for the drainage that is also pvc got it now second with the third one is polyacrylonitrile or orlon it is very very important also polyacrylonitrile or orlon it is called pan pan in local language you can say that pan that but it's pan polyacrylonitrile it is formed by polymerization of the vinyl cyanide or acrylonitrile vinyl cyanide when cyanide group cn is attached with the vinyl as we discussed in the case of pvc then it is known as vinyl cyanide and it is also called acrylonitrile these are their traditional names and their commercial names one thing let me clear you so we have to memorize them there is no way to discuss about that uh, why they are called like this okay so vinyl cyanide or acrylonitrile when undergoes the polymerization similar as we discussed in the pvc a polymer is formed which is called polyacrylonitrile pan or polyvinyl cyanide but it don't it will not call pvc one thing let me clear it will call pan it is you it is a wool like it is artificial wool we can say that which is you wool like substance which is used in making the sweaters blanket pillow mattresses etc okay next one is polystyrene polystyrene styrene or vinyl benzene now this is c6h5 benzyl group when it goes under the polymerization reaction then similar compound it will gives as we as we discuss in the pa n or pvc similar compound is formed which is called polystyrene polyester polystyrene got it used in making tea cups bottle caps parts of the refrigerator wall tiles packing items etc etc got it now the last topic of our chapter that is synthetic rubber synthetic rubber these are polymers of 13 butadiene or its derivatives this is its definition what is natural what is synthetic rubber that means we can say that the viscous the viscous rubber like substance which is formed by yeah which is polymer of 13 butadiene or its derivatives is known as synthetic rubber okay it is called synthetic rubber now the question is one what is 13 butadiene that is four carbon but 13 that means 1 2 3 4 1 3 butadiene that means it is alkene in which two double bonds are formed this is if we make the structure then this is but 
3 butadiene. Now it's derivative, that means any of the hydrogen will eliminate and its derivative is formed like that. Here, when 2, 3 dimethyl, 1, 3 butadiene, that means 2, 3, 2 and 3, this it becomes 2, 3 dimethyl. Now it is 2, 3 dimethyl butadiene. Okay is treated with sodium when it is treated with sodium which one 2 3 dimethyl 1 4 1 3 butadiene treated with the sodium catalyst in the presence of carbon dioxide then rubber like substance then rubber like substance is formed which is called buna rubber like substance is called which is called buna got it Bu stand for butadiene and Na for sodium. This rubber like substance is called buna. This buna product further treated with the styrene okay, or acrylonitrile. Either this one acrylonitrile or either this one styrene. Okay. And obtain final product which is either buna S or buna N. Got it? Buna N that is butadiene and sodium and sorry and styrene. Buna N that is butadiene and acrylonitrile. Got it? So these two types are these are two synthetic rubbers. Okay. Out of which Buna S is water impermeable. So it is used in the making of the tires and uh, gas balloons not uh, our uh, toys that is air gas balloon in which we travel okay it is making the oil containers fuel tanks tire tubes so tools etc etc we consider sorry for that sorry if we consider the polymerization reaction then when it is undergoes the polymerization reaction this bond break this bond break and there is a formation of double bond here so it will give ch2 c ch3 double bond c ch2 this polymer this polymer okay now when this further polymer is react with the acrylonitrile or with styrene then the final viscous product is formed which is called synthetic rubber which is buna s or buna n okay so now our chapter 8 completed and uh, i hope you like this chapter and uh, now i want to discuss some question answer of this chapter Question answers of this chapter. One minute. Yes. Now, the eighth question is the IUPAC name of this compound. You can write it. IUPAC name of this compound. Start with the selection of the longest chain. This is our longest chain. Start the numbering. As you know, double bond is present, so numbering will start from that side in which the double bond get minimum number 1, 2, 3. Now, it is substituent where? Third, so that is 3 chloro. 3 chloro. Now, main chain, 3 carbon, prop. Double bond is present on the first, so that is propane, propene, uh, prop 1 in or we can say that one propene so now we have to find three chloro one propene three chloro one propene got it clear now some more questions which you can ask in the exams like that write the full form of pan pen write the polymer of okay now Write the name of this.
this question write the UPSC name and structural formula this is molecular formula and we have to make firstly it is structural formula C5 H12 that means 1 2 3 4 5 12 hydrogens each carbon has four four valencies some of them fill by the bonding with other carbon and remainings are vacant now put start the putting the hydrogen since it is more the number of hydrogens is more than it is more than double bond uh, more than number of carbon atom that means it is definitely it is clear that it is alkene so there is single bond now put the hydrogens one 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 there is two there again two again two now three count three five seven nine twelve got it now write the name if we collectively if we consider it said so then we can collectively make the structure like this it is CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH3 got it now 5 carbon pent single bond in there is no substitute uh, no substituent because all of these are in main chain okay here again you can you can write like this I think you can do this is alkene and these are alkyne okay now one more question the one question that is why CNG is better than LPG as we discussed and this is important question this one write the UPC name of the following isoctane we discussed this one all of these examples we discussed in our exam in our previous okay in the previous videos similarly this is question and that is the question write the formula by make by the name you have to write the formula okay I think you can write neopentane that means neo which which is called neo when one carbon is bonded with the other carbons that is called neo now pentane 5 carbon here that is 5 so that is neo pentane condition now fill the hydrogens it becomes neo pentane iso pentane iso when there is one branch that is iso now fill the hydrogens sorry this is isopentane got it now from these I am taking any example of that uh, suppose I am taking this one that is 3 ethyl 4 methyl hexane as I already discussed that firstly we have to find the number of carbon atoms then double bonds triple bonds if they are present then make that and then substituent and finally the remaining valency we, we, we will fill by hydrogens so here hex hex that means 6 6 carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 carbon hexane in that means single bond so there is no need of double or triple bond now substituent 3 ethyl firstly write the numbering 1 2 3 4 5 6 got it 3 ethyl 1 2 3 that is 3 ethyl that means CH2 CS3 it is ethyl group 4 methyl that is methyl 4 methyl now all of these all of the things which is given in the name are mentioned now the remaining valency fulfilled by hydrogens here one valency satisfy three remaining so that is three hydrogen two fulfill two remaining two hydrogens one two three fulfill one remaining one hydrogen one two three fulfill one hydrogen one remaining so that is one hydrogen two fulfill so that is two hydrogens one fulfill three remaining so that is three hydrogens 
this is the structure of 3 ethyl 4 methyl hexane and similar things you have to do with these hope you can do it okay from next class we will discuss about new section of our book thank you hope you like it